Let's talk about credit terms. So why do we have credit terms? Credit terms are meant to entice the other company to pay faster. So if we are purchasing from a vendor some merchandise, we may be given the credit terms 210 net 30. This means that we can pay them in 30 days, that's the net 30, but if we pay them within 10 days, we can take a 2% discount. So if it's us that is doing the selling, then we can also offer our customers the same credit terms, such as 210 net 30, meaning that if they will pay us within 10 days, they may take a 2% discount. If not, the entire amount is due within 30 days. The reason for these is that it is very important for companies to receive the cash as quickly as possible so that they can keep their inventory levels up. So for example, if you shop at Old Navy and you went in there, you would expect them to have a large variety of clothes for you to try on in all the different sizes. And if you didn't, then you may not choose to shop there again. So in order for this to happen, they need to receive the money from their sales as quickly as possible. And this is why we have credit terms. So let's look and see how this works. Again, this is a 2% discount if you pay within 10 days. If not, the net is due within 30 days. Now, companies can choose. It could be 310 net 30. Or it could be 115 net 30. Just whatever they choose it to be. But this would be a 3% discount if you pay within 10 days. If not, the entire amount is due in 30. This would be a 1% discount if you pay within 15 days. If not, the entire amount is due 30. And then you can also see something that looks like this, net 30 or net 15, meaning that the entire amount is due in 15 and we're not offering any discounts. So these are our options. All right, let's look and see how this happens. If we purchase merchandise for $5,000 and we take the 2% discount, we receive a discount of $100. That means that our total purchase price will be $5,000 minus our discount to be $4,900. The other way to look at this, and the quicker way to calculate it when you're doing these journal entries, is to say that our purchase price is $5,000, and we're not going to pay 100%. Instead, we're going to pay 100 minus 2%, which is 98%, which still comes to this $4,900. So how do we use that? Well, under the brand new revenue recognition principles that came out in 2014, we are going to assume that we take the discount, and likewise, if we offer it to our customers, we are going to assume that they take advantage of the discount. This way, we are not overinflating anything. We're actually putting it down at the cost that we think is going to happen. So let's look and see what it looks like. If we were purchasing this, we would debit merchandise inventory for the 4900 because we go ahead and assume that we're going to do that. And we would credit accounts payable for the same $4,900. When we go to pay this, we are going to reduce our accounts payable by the entire amount, and we'll pay out our cash. So that's pretty easy to see. If we are selling something to somebody and we offer them a discount, we are also going to just show it at the net amount. So for example, we would have accounts receivable, for the 4900 and we would show sales of 4900 now because we are doing the perpetual method of inventory we also need to show that some inventory went out so we would have cost of merchandise sold and we would have merchandise inventory this section of the journal entry is where we are showing that merchandise inventory has left our store, so we're reducing our merchandise inventory because we sold it, and we are moving it into our cost of merchandise sold, which is our expense. This is the same principle that we used in previous chapters. This is the matching principle, which means that we are matching that expense into the same period as the sale happened. Um, the problem would have to tell you how much the inventory that we sold was originally purchased for. So I'm going to make that number up, and I'm going to say we bought this for $4,000. Hence, on this transaction, we have a $900 gross profit. So that is how the purchase discount works, and this is how the sales discount works. The credit terms are read the same way. They work the same way. The only difference is whether or not you are purchasing your inventory, and hence taking advantage of somebody offering you a discount, 
or if you're selling the inventory, in which case you're actually offering a discount to your customer to pay you early.